This is Carla Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and this is my Stone Cold Lock of the Century. All week. I don't get why Tim Tebow's so popular. If God wanted people to pray on Sunday, he'd have made that like uh, some day of worship or something. No, it is a day for swallowing two dozen barbecue wieners and a half gallon of vodka before toe meets leather. Only praying I do on Sunday is to a poor slim bone. And if I want to see someone cry when they lose, I'll whip a raw egg at my nephew. Last week, Tebow passed for 60 yards. 6-0. Come on! I could throw a hoagie wrapper 600 yards in mile high. See, see, Tebow, he's like Kurt Warner, except without all that baggage, like talent and arm strength and accuracy and a Super Bowl ring. Critics say all this guy does is win. He was 8-8 eight eight last season, so maybe all this guy does is lose, too. I talked to God. I talked to him two nights ago during OT at the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. I got down on one knee to pick up my box of onion rings, and I asked him, Oh, please, dear leader, don't let the replay overturn the TD. And God didn't listen, so I got screwed on the spread, and no one took pictures of me and said, It's call time. The Steelers are beat up, no doubt. I mean, leading tackler Ryan Clark's got to sit out because of sickle cell. Just because you got a medical condition that could kill you by playing at high altitudes, you got to find that extra 10% down deep from the place where they took your gallbladder and spleen last time you played in Denver. There ain't no eye in spleen. What part of spleen do you use to tackle, huh? Besides, they grow back, don't they? I don't know. That's what my buddy says. The only Trinity Tebow's going to witness is maybe one field goal. Pittsburgh going to send him to heaven, all right, in a pine box. I'm breaking the Eighth Commandment, people. Thou shalt steal this Sunday. This Pittsburgh is Carl Stone Cold Lock of the Century. All week.